Welcome back to another Airsoft podcast. I'm Talon. Steven. And welcome back. Yeah. Had a pretty fun night last uh, last time we played. Oh, we it was it was a lot of oh, it was great <laughs> what we threw on like I can't even put it all together. We we had some really good games. It was quite it was kind of slow in the beginning, but then it started picking up. We had more people come in, and I mean the first m maybe hour we were getting demolished with every game. We won a game of domination. We lost another game of domination. We lost conquest. Yeah, it was just, it was a really off night. Like, just for some reason, we could not communicate with our team. And then we played uh, the Find the Box, and just, we played it twice, actually. It's the first time we've ever done that. And we we got both boxes both times. Yeah. Um, it was good. It was, oh, it was amazing. Like, it's just, looking back on the videos, it's funny, we were just talking. Looking back on the videos, it's weird seeing some things on here that you didn't notice at first like I didn't think I I didn't think I was doing too good that night I I thought I did terrible I thought that was actually my worst night but we looked on it and we found out that I had actually I had done a pretty decent job and uh, same with him he was thinking the same yeah. thing uh, it's it's really weird like a lot of times you'll hit people and don't even realize it and sometimes you'll hit people you don't realize it they don't call their shots but you you totally hit them like you go back to the video you watch it you slow it down I mean I don't really do any slow motions when we do any of the editing but I watch it to make sure like that we actually did hit someone or not and it's really funny how much often we actually hit someone and uh, and, and then there's times where we think we hit someone and we don't <laughs> like yeah. it, it goes both ways um, yeah it's crazy and uh, so this last time I did something a little different so uh, when we were going for that box, uh, if you watched the podcast last time, there was this part where Steven and I, we coordinated and worked together, and we just kind of like popped out at the same place at the same time. And I think you killed someone, but then died immediately yeah. too. You guys like killed like each this, other. The something. second I ran through the door, because the way that it went was like there was a little crawl space that Talon went through, and then I just went through the main door, because I saw it as myself. I was going to take the distraction, because... If we were going to pull off that game and win it, I didn't have a camera, so I wasn't going to record it. So I wanted him to, like, live. I wasn't expecting to go down that quickly, but the second I turned out the wall, I shot, got one guy, and then two people got me, and they just took their eyes off Talon, and Talon just went in there and just mm -hmm. literally mowed right through yeah, all of them. I, I killed so many guys, I just, uh, so I tried to do this new little, um, fun little uh, video, like this uh, beast mode kind of activity thing and it's going to be really fun if you get your second camera it'd be neat if we both um have a segment where both of us are doing that well yeah. together then it'd be really neat to do this beast mode thing where it does the split screen and yep uh just show how just we tearing do that. the team down um but yeah that's it, it's pretty neat <laughs> and we're going to go ahead and watch this just because it's it, it's kind of fun to watch and it's neat to um, to watch and see our reactions as we're doing this too. Then I think like this. I think you look back at me. I'm done. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I was already done. Guys, there. I didn't even see the guy down the other corridor. I think I just shoot because someone was around there. Oh really? Yeah. And I didn't know I hit someone there until I walked through. Right here. Man. <laughs> All of the city was in the other room. And that was our original plan too. We normally hold the box right now the time we ever had it. Yeah. See here I just wasn't really sure what to do. I was all by myself behind the lines. And I didn't notice so it just ran right up to him. Yep. Yeah. I'm honestly I'm surprised like the second you turned and looked left and started annihilating him, there wasn't more people behind you because my hands were getting all I know, sweaty. I wasn't when either. I first watched it too, I was like, Talon, look behind you, look behind you, look behind you. And no, like no one behind me, so I got all those guys and then I kind of like hid in that corner space there, because then there was that wall where I was waiting. Yeah. And and that's kind of why I was waiting. I was expecting more people to come around because I just killed those guys who so was expecting them to like rush right back yeah. in. But they didn't rush in, and I was like, "Why aren't they rushing in?" Like, well, 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 
and I felt, ah, and I felt bad because when you got back to the window, I had shot at you like twice because I didn't know oh, you yeah. were still there. I thought I thought he was gone. I didn't think we had that. I, I had a few people shoot failed. at me that yeah. was on our team, and I kept on having to like wave my hand and like shout out that I was on blue team. I was like, don't shoot me, I'm on your team. Yeah, and there was at one point, I was running back to him in that same hallway that we were down. I ran straight across, and a teammate of mine was maybe 15 feet away. He shot me dead on. He got me on the wrist. He got me in the arm. In fact, the arm, he hit me so hard, it, it swelled, like, all around for uh, three days. It was a bruising for a you week. You gotta get long sleeves. I, I like it. I don't know why I like it. Um, and then I got shot on the hip, and then I got shot right on the thigh. Just all of those from him and his gun. And I had to walk all the way back Why again. Shooting you? I don't know. I don't know. He was just trigger happy. It was just, I don't know. That's annoying. And it's just, I had to walk all the way back and then come back. And then I was able to meet up with Talon. And I was like, did you find the box? And he's like, no, no, I haven't seen the box yet. And then I like looked down the hallway and I was like, oh, it's right there. Yeah. I. It's really embarrassing because like the guy that I killed down there, he was guarding the box. But for some reason, like I, I didn't see it, or my mind didn't perceive that it was there, or something. And uh, I knew that there was someone on the other side of that wall, so I just tried to like go back and hold the position for more people to come. Yeah. And I don't know what happened there, but hey, we still got the box, and we still won. We did. I yeah. mean, we finally got it on tape. The last few times we've ever played the box game, which is every single time we go, but we never get it on tape. And finally, we got it on end. These last few times that we've gone to play, I've been the dummy who goes in there and like retrieves it because I just want to grab it. I don't know why it f it completes my fulfillment so yeah. <laughs> badly to just get the box every single time we're playing. I'm like, I'm getting the box this time, and it's like you got it last week. It's like I know I'm gonna get it again. It actually it's pretty fulfilling. Actually, it's awesome just carrying it and running, and your teammates are shooting behind you, and you're like, get them all, get them all, get them all, get them all, get them all. Yeah, uh, yeah, that was fun. And then yeah, so you grab the box right here. And this is you grabbing it here, right after. <laughs> I get all ninja. Oh yeah, because you're like crawling in there, and then we're shooting, so that I don't think they even notice that you're right there. And you got it, and yep. it just like I was, ha I was running, man. I was, I wasn't even looking. Yep. And I didn't even know where to go. I couldn't cross the line, so I had to yeah. cross it for a quick second. And it just went there with our spawn. We can't bring the box back to like our spawn points. And I kept forgetting because I don't like normally playing. In that section is door one. I mean, it sounds confusing, but in that section, we don't play a lot. I mostly have door four in my head, which is the opposite end of the map. Yeah. And so when I was running back, I was like, oh, there's a red line here. I can't go here. So then I ran to the other side and it's like, there's another red line. So it's like, where do I go? And I wasn't going to backtrack. I just figured since I'm right here, just run through it, get away from it. And I mean, in the end, we finally got it away from our lines to where the enemy could come and get it from us. But man, once once we had it on lockdown, there was you can see on here there's four people guarding it. In fact, one guy I think was trying to get in the tower, but I think I kept telling him no, just hang there. We just actually case. did get one guy who went into that tower. Yeah, was spotting us from there, but um, we had it like oh. nailed down right there. I we had it within the first five minutes because I mean I think we sat there for almost ten minutes. No, we we sat there for about I want to say five minutes. Actually. Oh, okay, yeah. And then they ended the game, but but even if we had tons of people rushing us, I don't think they would have gotten the box there because we just had so many people already congregated there, and it, there's just no way. So like that thing awesome. was covered. It was there was the only way through was where we were looking at, where the camera shows that it's looking at. That was the only way through that thing. Yep. Yeah. So that was that was a lot of fun, and uh, let's see the one that you were playing. Which game did you play where I had to sit out for a minute? Um, oh, it was a uh, Shia LaBeouf. You didn't like it, right? Okay, yeah. Uh, I don't know. That that's just a weird game. Yeah. Uh, Someone can't be invincible. That's just not fair. It really. The whole object is you got to go out there and just shoot people. Go back to your they, door. They throw a person in there that's invincible, and I have no idea why they even do it. And, just and, the, wasn't fun. and the thing from what I understand is he walks around and doesn't hurt you unless you accidentally shoot him. So if you shoot him, that's when he comes after you. So it's 
I understand the excitement of it, kind of like on Call of Duty. They do that. I well, think they it's did not, that. Well, that's it's not even a juggernaut. It's just someone who's invincible, yeah. and it's just it's it's annoying. I mean, the they juggernaut's only, at least defeatable eventually. Yeah, and they only have melee, so it's like he just walks uh, around with axes uh, and walks all casual. It's it's strange. I don't like that game because I almost didn't play it either. But once I found out you had to shoot him for him to do that, I was like, okay, then I just won't shoot him. Yeah, and then I don't think you even met up with him. No, I watched the whole video. I didn't even see you. I, so yeah, like, this game, it was just, it, it's a really weird game. I mean, I don't like the concept of someone being invincible and, like, has, because they also had another yeah. game that they played called Battlefront, where two people were invincible, and if they ran into you, they could duke it out, and, like, you could watch them play. Oh, it's like, yeah. It's boring. That's boring. Like, yeah. just shoot each other, go back. Play it like we're the rejects who wanted to go in the Marines and the Army and see warfare, but not really. Yeah, I would prefer it to be more realistic like actually if they put forth an effort and tried to make it as realistic as possible i would prefer that i would i mean i like the domination mm -hmm. thing where you, you go and like capture the the points because you know it's a small arena and you can't i mean that's probably the best way you can simulate it but um i i do like it when it's just you know Try and shoot the other guy, use tactical advantages, etc. Like hide the box. I really want to do uh, the gold bars because they have like a couple gold bars. And it's I the same that concept. Oh, is it I good or no? Well, they had the two like, uh, they had these two guys that were a lot like the, the juggernauts or whatever that were like guarding them. And if you, if, like if you, their rule was that if you shot them, then they count to five and then they respond and then they can shoot you. Or if you found the one of the bars, they'll shoot you. So, it's like, it, these things are almost impossible to find. And then when you find them, you just get shot. Yeah, because I saw a couple of them lying around when we were playing, and I was like, oh, that'd be a cool game to play, or like Breach or something. That'd be I didn't cool. like it at all. Like I, I, I ended up finding one the entire game, and as soon as I grabbed it, I got shot. I feel like it'd be awesome if there was a game like, because uh, I like the infinite, you know, lives that's great because then i gotta keep going out and playing but maybe one time play like a game where well, you, do that you just get shot thing. and you go and sit out until everybody else on your team has gone which is like squad yeah but that was i i think that one's fun i just the only reason i set out that one time was because i wasn't feeling good yeah. um i want i would like to do is do the new medics the yeah the medic, medic game would be cool the medic one where you act the medic actually has to tie something yeah. to you that one Sounds like mix it with game. that and the box, mm -hmm. but like the only places you can't touch are their spawns. So like just literally where it shows their spawns at the doors, yeah. but then like you could run around the whole entire arena. There's no restrictions. That'd be kind of cool. That would be kind. of... Well, that's why I think squads kind of fun is because you're just that small combined uh, team, and you can you just move everywhere like a team, and that kind of makes me think you know it it, it kind of has more of a spec out feeling yeah because then you're just like the small group you're just relying on the group. you're the guys who are right there next to yeah. you yeah that's I like true that a lot yeah i did enjoy that very much it's it's nice i mean we're, I, I would have liked it i just yeah just wasn't feeling good at that time it sucked i mean we're getting better i mean aside from me and him for corrupt turnips we have two other guys in fact we just recently got another guy so our group is coming along good we don't want a big group but it's nice how you know, it's starting to come along. You know, people, people were running into, they're like, oh, hey, I'll yeah. come play. And it's like, cool, you like it. So I had more cameras, I had more footage. Yeah, exactly. It would be a lot more entertaining for the viewers to see it. Yep. Yeah, well, I think that's going to be it for tonight. I think I may be getting a new airsoft gun pretty soon. So maybe we'll uh, have a special video on that later on. But for now... That's it. Uh, just remember to like and subscribe, and we'll see you playing Airsoft next week. Yep. Corrupt, corrupt.